So this is a Gibson Hummingbird Pro 12 string acoustic electric guitar. We're gonna talk about whether or not a 12 string guitar should be something you should buy, whether it needs to be in your guitar arsenal, you know, we don't need another excuse to buy a guitar because we can come up with that, or if it's just kind of nostalgic fun that's fun to play but not necessarily a must have purchase. We're also gonna discuss whether or not this build quality is what it should be for the price tag that this guitar holds. So stick with me and we'll jump into this thing. I'll never forget the first time I played a 12 string acoustic guitar. I was probably 14 years old. I was walking into Heartland Guitar in Independence, Missouri where I took guitar lessons, but of course it was a guitar shop, all right? So I took from this guy named Corey. He was a great guitar teacher. I'll never forget the first time I met him. I walked in and he had a shirt on and it said rain, right? And like cool like comic book characters. And on one side it said regular rain and on the other side it said acid rain and the rain was all rainbow colored with like these psychedelic looking designs on it anyways he was a great guitar teacher so i was waiting for my lesson i would always get there early to kind of play on guitars and one day i picked up it was this was at the time when um ovation guitars were like super popular so i picked up a 12 string ovation guitar and i played through it and it was like so new and interesting to my ear that i really couldn't stop playing it so of course i played the quintessential 12 string acoustic guitar riff, which was Wanted Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi. So for weeks I would walk into my guitar lesson early and I'd always tinker around on this 12 string acoustic ovation guitar. I can never bring myself to buy one. I don't know why I can't put my finger on it. I'll get to that a little bit later in the video, but I always enjoyed playing it and I loved the sound of it. So when a student of mine brought in this Gibson Hummingbird 12 string, I had to borrow it and make a video with it. Let's take a listen to this thing and see what we think. And if you have a 12 string acoustic in your hand, come on, one of the first licks you're gonna play. seem to be a proper demo without this song?
Okay, so first things first, what did you think of the sound of this guitar? Put it in the comments below. Did it sound in tune as I was playing? What did the tone sound like? Did you like the tone? What do you think of the color of the guitar? Did it seem like it stayed in tune as I was playing the parts of each one of those examples? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go with first impressions as far as the looks. When I opened this case, which was actually very, very nice, plush case, the first thing I noticed was how amazing the sunburst looked on this guitar. I mean, look at this, it looks amazing. I don't know that I've seen much better on anything besides maybe another Gibson guitar. Um, the the uh, pick guard right here, super thick, kind of vintagey feeling. It's cool looking. The bridge is cool. Um, it smells as it should. Um, I'm pretty sure it's nitrocellulose lacquer. I didn't dig too much into it, but this is a Hummingbird Pro 12 string guitar. It's got the two little hexagon or whatever of shaped inlays here and the headstock absolutely gorgeous if I can get my light out of it right so it's a gorgeous looking headstock it's got Grover tuners these are Grover tuners all the way through the back of this thing um, I don't know yeah I think it's a bone nut as well it should be for that price tag um, and first impressions upon playing it it feels amazing it just feels natural in your arms um, of course, it's a wider neck because of the um, the double strings, right? And the fret work, really nice. It seemed to be intonated really well for a 12-string guitar. Um, did I like it? I absolutely love playing it. Do I need it? I'm not sure yet. Let's get to that here in just a second. Um, the sound of it. I think the sound acoustically in the room sounded really nice to my ears. It sounded... Um, as it should it feels as it should like I said it smells as it should like straight from the Gibson factory it smells like nitrocellulose lacquer on an amazingly built guitar so overall build quality 10 out of 10 Gibson um, it's got this cool custom shop right here um, sticker whatever whatever you want to call that so as far as I can say as far as build quality look and vibe it's got it it's got all the look, it's got all the vibe, it's got the tone you want for a 12 string guitar, but the question is, do you need it? You tell me, based on the sound of those quintessential licks um, that I was playing at the top, you know, those are some of the most popular 12 string guitar licks or riffs ever written, or at least in my opinion, um, and according to the internet, because I did look it up, yes, I did my research, I just picked my favorite ones that I wanted to play. Do I need it? I don't think I need it. I think it's fun to play, but as a gigging musician, as a guy that plays in some studios from time to time and plays a ton of acoustic gigs, a ton of like working guitar gigs where I'm playing electric guitar and switching out all through the night uh, between acoustic and electric, this does not hold a place in my personal arsenal of guitars. Is it beautiful? Is it amazing? Is it fun to play? It absolutely is. The only bones I had to pick with it was as I was playing some of those licks, I noticed, my ear noticed that some of those strings would go out of tune from time to time, and it takes twice as long to tune it, apparently, because, or obviously, I should say, because it is a 12-string guitar, a gorgeous 12-string guitar, I should say, that is absolutely fun to play, don't get me wrong, um, but no, I don't need it. Do you need it? Let me know in the comments below. Is it worth a $2,600 price tag? I think based on build quality, if you love acoustic guitars, this is a $2,600 guitar at retail. Um, used, I think I saw it for $2,200 on Reverb yesterday. Um, or just recently anyways. So I think $2,600, this is worth it. I thought it was going to be, I honestly thought when I first played it before I looked it up, I thought it was like a $4,000, $5,000 guitar based on the look of it and the custom shop sticker there. The Hummingbird Pro sticker inside here. It's not really a sticker. It's like on there. But um, I don't think I need it. I think if you love 12 strings, this is a go-to. You should buy it. I think the intonation thing is perfect. Well, perfect, you know, relatively speaking. Um, I think although these strings aren't new and a few of them went out of tune as I was playing some of those licks with a little bit of vibrato or bend in them, um, I do think that you could probably have a luthier take a look at this and get that a little bit cleaner. And you can always do this pro tip. You can take graphite and a little bit of Vaseline and put it right in the nut slots right here. You can do this on a Les Paul as well. And it would probably resolve that issue all the way. So um, 
you're welcome by the way. Vaseline and a little bit of graphite mix it together like a little sauce, nut sauce if you will, and put it right there. Anyways, I actually loved playing this guitar. I think it's worth the $2,600 price tag. Um, I just don't think I need it. So I hope that was fun for you guys to watch as it was for me to play through it and to talk about it. Um, I love Gibson guitars and I want a J45. If you have a J45 for sale, drop it in the comments below. I would love an old one. So if you loved this video and you enjoyed it and had some fun with me today, please consider liking and subscribing. Share this channel with your friends. I don't do these gear reviews very often, but I do enjoy doing them from time to time. Most of the time I'm teaching you guys how to better yourselves as guitar players, getting from that intermediate level to the advanced level and beyond. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.